Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, March 6, 2012. A moderately strong earthquake rocked the Philippines this morning in the central uh, province of uh, Maspate. It's a 5.2 earthquake. It struck this morning for central, just about a mile and a half north of Maspate City, which is on the province island of Maspate. It was felt in two other provinces. The quake caused cracks in buildings and shattered windows in many offices. Large numbers of people rushed out into the streets, evacuating homes, offices, hospitals, and schools. Classes in all schools were canceled following the quake, and there apparently was a major aftershock about 60 minutes later. No reports of any deaths. There was a 5.2 earthquake in southern Sumatra in Indonesia about an hour ago. It occurred 13 miles northwest of the city of Padang in Sumatra. That's right on the coast. No report of anything from that area. In southeastern Africa now, 77 people have died as a result of tropical cyclone Irina as it's sweeping through the region. The storm struck northern Madagascar about two weeks ago and it's now moved and hit eastern South Africa and Mozambique. 25-foot waves were seen in the South African city of Durban. Equicat has come out with their view of this big cyclone and tornado activity that went through the U.S. on February 29th. They're saying up to $2 billion in losses. Yesterday, PCS said the low 100 millions. Equicat says that now activity for tornadoes this year is well above average, with 272 already this year versus the seven-year average of 123 at this time. Another 8,000 people have been evacuated in Australia as a result of the floods. New South Wales evacuation in the town of Wagga Wagga have occurred. Sunday, 13,000 people in New South Wales were evacuated. The Australian Prime Minister has sent the military in. Bermuda domiciled insurer Omega has failed to halt the decline in its earnings. They saw a loss of $95 million for 2011. This is a bigger loss than the $43 million that they lost the previous year. They made no mention whatsoever of any prospective suitors. Former Porsche chief financial officer Holger Harder is one of the people charged with fraud in Germany over statements made when refinancing a 10 billion euro loan. Apparently, uh, Mr. Harder and two other managers also withheld information about put options tied to Volkswagen shares. Mr. Harder opposes the charges with emphasis, said his lawyer. Marsh Max, chief financial officer, Vanessa Whitman, is resigning to take a senior role at Google. And American Safety Insurance has formed American Safety UK Limited, a London-based company that will produce property casualty treaty reinsurance for American Safety Re, the company's reinsurance subsidiary. Nick Pascal, the American Safety Reinsurer's chief underwriting officer, said having a permanent presence in London will significantly enhance the group's ability to service clients and brokers. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching.